Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm at the beautiful community of, let me get the wording right, Terrence Adesino Park. And the reason I'm here is because I have a client considering putting an offer on this beautiful house behind me that was built in 2002 by Perry Homes. But don't look, let the age deceive you. This house has been completely redone and it is gorgeous. Let's go check it out. All right, this is a five bedroom, three and a half bath house. Like I said, as mentioned, built in 2002. Um, this is a gated community that does have a gate code on it. And it's a beautiful community just off Evans Road. So you're still on the north central area and the high school that this goes to is Johnson High School. Let's go check out the inside. Big, beautiful entrance. I'm going to be doing this video kind of quick because there's another showing coming up pretty soon. But like I mentioned, this house has been completely redone. Loving the flooring. Right when you come in, you have an office with some built-ins. That desk has been uh, built into this, but I love the flooring. And uh, if you want to put a door, you could put a barn door on the inside of this or going with the French doors. But you do have the formal dining room. Nicely done. But I absolutely love the coloring of this flooring. Okay, if you hear some noise going on because the person I'm working, helping look for a house, she's upstairs talking to her husband. And he happens to be overseas right now. But love the tray roof. Now, this kitchen has been completely gutted and redone, and I really like how it turned out. The granite leather, they got a leather-ish, it's not actual leather, but it's a coating they put on it. You do have extra storage on the underneath side. Love the colorings. Um, just want to show you something. They've got all these little shelves here that pull out. And found out that uh, word about this being a deal breaker for my client because she wants to cook with gas. This can, this does have gas plumb to it. So talking to a listing agent, this used to be gas, and they for some reason they want electric. But they did go with a good sink with a granite composite, 60, 40 or so there your view from the sink. Not the uh, biggest pantry in the world, but they did this shelf thing again. So you do have the pullouts giving you more access all the way through to where everything can be pulled out. Kind of neat. Gives you a little extra space, especially if you don't have the width as other pantries. These are KitchenAid appliances, so you do have your microwave up on top. And another little feature there, it's like somebody else is coming in. Or maybe she went out. Okay, let's continue on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and head upstairs because I wanna show you all these bedrooms upstairs. There's some really neat stuff going on out there loving the stairs they did use the same type of uh, engineered wood on the stairs a nice berber carpet but check this area here out go up a few more steps and you've got your movie room game room with a fancy dancy big ass fan i love it so Love the color selection they've done in this house. House was built in 2002. Oh, they got some LED lighting put up there. So, the modern colors really goes a long way. And lots of extra storage. And that's going to be a common theme throughout this house. Little closets here and there. Lots of storage in it. 
All right, let's go check out some of these. We do have three bedrooms on this side of the house. A little view from the windows. The windows are a little, maybe it's just dirty, dirty there. But this bedroom does share a door to the other bedroom. Just be aware of that. Well, oh, let's check out the closet size. Oh, good size closets. People do live here, so I am trying to respect their privacy and not show their personal stuff off too much. But another completely redone bathroom. And then the third bedroom on this side of the house. I got the fan going with a good sized closet. All right, there's more up here. I'm loving the arches they got. Let me give you a little view of this area. Okay, we got two more bedrooms up here. So this is a really nice size bedroom with it. Uh, this is gonna be a Jack and Jill bathroom. So you will have the toilet kind of right in the middle. Shower tub combination. I want to actually walk around. I want to show you the other room because we've already seen four bedrooms upstairs. It's hard to see if this is going to be another fifth bedroom upstairs because it's kind of oddly shaped and it doesn't have a closet. So that's why on the MLS listing they have it as a five bedroom house and not a six. So this could be perfect for an office. If you want an upstairs office, you can do that and then have your own sink and you can open up the door to use your, the bathroom to whoever's using that. All right, let's head on down and we'll check out the owner suite. And, uh, well, we're going to go outside first. Forgot about that one. All right, back downstairs. We're going to go outside before we check out the owner suite. They do have the fireplace in the corner, giving you room for your entertainment center downstairs. And of course, I wouldn't be a video if someone wasn't doing some type of lawn work in the background. Now, there's no covered patio here. However, the sun sets back off this direction. So, when it's happy hour time, this house will be shaded. This back porch area will be shaded. But some beautiful trees back here. Nice lawn. Looks like most of the grass is zoysia. I'm a big fan of zoysia grass. Um, on the MLS listing, they had this listed as a four car garage, but once you look at it, it's like, eh, it's a three car garage, but one of them's tandem. But it, look at the storage space you have here. Lots and lots of storage space. You can set up your own little private gym right there and still have room for three car garage and a pull down ladder with more built in storage up top. And a long driveway coming in. Back part of the house. I'm gonna go ahead and walk out here, kind of show you this little, they got kind of a garden set up on this patio area. Kind of neat.
a little bit of slope going off that side, but it's good to have uh, some drainage going from uh, one side of the yard to the other and then out that side gate. Now, mentioned the house was built in 2002, so you do see some brass still in this house. You can see a little bit more of it as we go into the owner suite. But that is an easy fix. All right, this is the utility room and uh, water softener storage here. Little on the tight side compared to other utility rooms. That's why they got the double stacked washer and dryer and no sink or hanging up stuff. And this is gonna be the powder room underneath the stairs. Nicely done though. All right, into the owner suite, very spacious, good lighting. Like I said, I love the colors, the little off gray wall coloring, tall uh, baseboards. But one thing to point out, this is original with the house. So built in 2002, the, that's a little on the low side. So if you've got back issues at all, you're definitely gonna wanna replace that. But uh, upgraded light fixtures still have the same builder's grade mirror but yeah just letting you know this is a little bit on the low side here and here comes the brass as far as the shower um not the biggest shower in the world but uh if you gutted this out you could do something it's not a mud inset kind of wish it was but uh so you're stuck with using the doing a pan there. God, that was loud. Do have the rain glass right there and a soaking tub with some more brass features. All right, let's check out. Well, there's the linen closet. And there's the water closet. A little on the snug side there. All right, let's do a quick looky through. All right, not the biggest of closets, but they've had some built-ins to try to accommodate that. They do have the same wood floor that's in the main part of the house. But yeah, a little on the cramped side compared to other houses because the newer houses definitely have to try to make the bigger closets. But I do love the finishes that they've put on and like these really nice fans. And these light fixtures. Lots of can lighting in this room, house. I was going to conclude this tour, but I did forget to mention the square footage of this house. This house is 3,758 square feet, and the seller is asking 550 for the house. So that's what they're asking for. But I uh, hope you found this video useful. I'm sure hope my clients did because they're trying to decide which house to put an offer on. Um, but regular YouTube folks, uh, if you are moving to the area, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I am a realtor trying to grow my business, and these videos do kind of help. So uh, if you haven't done so already, hit that like button and the subscribe and then share these with your friends. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care now.